Hello everyone, this is um, Finchinator here, I'm the recording the Ojama against Zoro Dark series and um, Smog Tour, I'm going to link this game to everyone, just check the matches, um, like, oh they got it, link my friend, let's get it. Okay, so I'm here by myself narrating, my call, probably just saw this play wasn't me, but anyway, um, looks like there are going to be two green teams, Ojama is going to be more offensive paced, whereas Zoro Dark is going to be more bulky, um, I think that Zoro Dark probably is an okay matchup, just because Zapdos looks like it's pretty well. Depending on um, the set and the spread. But I do think that Ojama's got a chance, especially if he could break through the Deep Zone relatively easy. And I think that Dragonite, Keldeo, and Garchomp are going to be able to do that, especially if his own Ferro Zone is not buffed. But um, him getting off to a quick start. Like Polytoad's going to click Hypnosis into the Jirachi and hit the Polytoad of Zoro Dark, keeping Ojama a slight lead in the early game. But I mean, this might just be the ideal sleep fighter for Zoro Dark, meaning it's not too big a setback. Ferro Thor's going to come in here on a Scald. Burn would be great for Ojama, but no such luck. And he's going to get the leftover recovery, 13%, leading the loser. Some more defensive oriented Polytoad, which kind of makes sense in this bulky team. Could be Gem or even Spax. I don't think it'd be Scarf. I think it's Scarf for Kelly off. Likely Spike here or Knock Off from Zoro Dark, depending on the set. Spike's the set. Feral, likely Knock Off Feral. Can go here as well. Stealth Rock, get up. And keep in mind, you could sleep Grass types in this generation. It's pretty important. We're going to see Dragonite here. Knock Off. Choice Band. Okay, that's, that's big information. And that makes the Dragonite a lot less threatening. Tangrowth might just stay in here and sleep. Hidden Power, HP Ice. Okay, that's not that great against Ferrothorn. So I probably isn't going to be able to touch it. I don't know if it's going to have Sleep Powder or Knock Off. Uh, might just knock off the lefties, honestly. That might be a good play. But um, yeah, the Ferrothorn likely isn't threatened too heavily, although it could get annoyed somewhat in the long term by this Tangrowth. With the presence of Spikes, turns will knock off. Sleep Powder missed there is pretty vital. Spikes getting up is kind of nice, but there's Tentacle to spin that could spin on the Politoed or the Kelio. Hidden Power Ice, wow! Critical hit, great play by Zori Dark, predicting the Dragon had come into Sleep Ladder. Amazing prediction there. Um, gets him into a 6-5 advantage, a big lead. However, the Starmie probably is able to kill the Zori Dark Tangrowth, unless it's got slight special defense investment. Actually, I think it probably lives Ice Beam. I remember Aura spread, or Black and White spread on Tangrowth, able to live Ice Beam 100% of the time with minimal special defense investment. So this is probably able to live it. And I don't really know what else it needs for, but might want to preserve it just for the um, sake of the Garchomp. So there are two options here. You need the Giga Drain. Tank that. Assuming you tank a life orb ice beam, you Giga Drain kills this, or you can just pivot out to Ferrothorn. Um, I don't think you want to go to Polythoid here just because you just waste your sleep powder, and I mean, you never know what you want to have in the back. But Ferrothorn will take a lot if he goes for Analytic Hydro Pump, or even Analytic Ice Cream to do 30 35%. With um, Stealth Rock and Spikes up, that's pretty big. I'm speaking really quickly here, I'm sorry, but um, I think now that the game slowed down a bit, they're both thinking. Pretty clear that Zora Dark has two plays Tangrowth or Ferroth Giga Drain. Or Ferrothorn, just to safe pivot counterplay, and he's gonna elect to go with the ladder, which is a fine play. Let's see if he um predicts that nicely. Gets a 56% off Specs Hydro off. Um, yeah, that's a lot of damage right there. I think that Zoro Dark's play might have been staying in, but I think that if he thought it was Specs, which I admittedly actually didn't even consider. Um, I think that Zoro. Dark would have died to Specs Ice Beam, meaning that was a good play by Ojama. And Miss there is big. Leech, yeah, that's huge for um, Zoro Dark. If there's a critical hit, that Miss is also nice. Puts him in a great position now. Probably just going to set up Spikes here. Like Team Double Leeching. Double Leech, wow. Okay, Zoro Dark's playing well. I mean, he's gotten lucky, but he's also playing pretty well. Ojama hasn't misplayed either. So, so far, an unfortunate start for him. Probably just going to see Spikes here. Power Whip, disagree with that play. I think that was on Nessa. Um, there's no way he's staying in or going to a water type there. I think it just spikes, but... Ah, come on, Zoro. Now, now he's getting sloppy here. Um, it's a pretty bad sequence of plays, in my opinion. I think he just sets up spikes. Yeah, he loses nothing. I mean, you want your spec Starmie to lock in, and he's got five spikes from Ripple Pokemon, so yeah, setting up spikes is pretty big. Um, Keldeo coming in here. Leech, Knight. Now, that's a good read. I, 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 wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have done that myself. That's a good read. Um, this is 100% choice Keldeo, too, so I'm probably just going to switch out again. Safe play and going Tentacruel. I don't like that. Um... I think you gotta make a middle ground there, probably like Polytoad, but I mean, I guess against the Dra oh, it's Lefty's Chomp. Um, sub SD. Yeah, that's a sub Swords Dance Guard Chomp, which is. I don't think it's a great pick in the metagame right now, honestly. Um, maybe Ojama thinks otherwise, but it's interesting. I'm probably gonna be hidden by Rise Zap, though, given this pivot. I think he can just Swords Dance up, yep. Um, I don't know if plus two Dragon Claw is gonna kill. I don't feel like bulky Swords Dance, maybe that could be the play. Um, a lot of things depend, but the Chomp does appear to be quicker. Is Zoro Dark's fastest Pokemon? All right, what in the world? I I just noticed Zoro Dark's team is so blatantly slow. Yeah, that plus two Aqua Tail is gonna do the trick. 
Um, I think the Tangra should be able to deal with this fine. I mean, like, Hidden Power Ice should kill. But I really question, if that was Scarf Politoed, which I guess it has to be looking at the team structure, then why would you Sleep Powder it, actually? I think that he might have been better off Sleep Powdering off the um, Jirachi. Just because he wants speed control here. So yeah, that might have been a misplay by Zora Dark. But anyway, um, Ojama is now in a much more threatening position, which kind of happens when you use an offense-based team in Black White against a gold tier team. I mean... I feel like the tier plays much more into the hands of offense than it does in the alternative play style. But at the same time, he used their own. Zoridark is obviously more bulky player. Sorry, I've had my mouse over um, Tango the whole time. But anyway, um, hmm. I think that um, the Ojama play here is just a preferred for him. He could even go to Starmie if he if the balls. Zoro is 100% clicking HPI still. I mean, you don't want to sleep out into a sub. That would be um, bad. I don't think it's lefty three attacks, so that would be a kind of dumb set. I mean, what's even the point of using lefty three attack? You could use like Yach or um or you know a gem. Just so many options in black white really that I just wouldn't respect that possibility. So if you really do predict the switch, um I mean I guess he could sleep. But I just I think that he has to be sub. I don't think he's gonna click sub here, I think he's just gonna switch out, but I think I still respect it. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, Ojama seems to be taking more time than Zoro. So Zoro's already has Luke click for about a minute now. Ojama is down to 225 seconds, which is still pretty high. So no worries there, but still. Um, Really not much to think about besides the fact that um, late game water types on Ojama's team look pretty good. Um, The one thing I just like about Ojama's team is that Tornado is literally 6 0s it. Like... I really would not be comfortable using a build like this personally. I mean, how even like nasty plot plus three attacks thunderous. I mean, you just, you just kind of have to have some um, a defensive more of a clear defensive backbone. I feel like you can't fit Pokemon like Dragonite onto Rain anymore. It's just how the metagame is. But maybe you want to take out more for like things like Lefty Sun, run to integrate dual Dragon Core and a dual you know offensive Water Core. But it's kind of just like two strong Water Specials, two strong Dragon Physicals, a Politoed and a Ferrothor. And it's just like what man. But yeah, it's oh. Boy, that sucks for Zoro, but he's gotten much luckier beforehand, so there's no way in hell that he can complain about this sequence overall. I mean, yeah. Likely just going to go to Tentacle here. No double by Ojama, which this is a very good play for Zoro Dark. Um, able to spin away. So, yeah, probably spin. I can't think of any other move here. Um, I'd imagine Ojama just goes out to Ferrothorn. Yep. Spin. Sub. Oh, boy. Ugh. This is disgusting. He's gonna fish for Scald. Ugh, I hate how competitive Pokemon is came to this. I hope this is Power Whip so he breaks the sub. Fuck you, Zoro. Yep, he is good. Check, check. If he fishes, I mean, I think that Power Whip's probably a roll here. He can go for the Fisherman stuff, though. Um, If this burns, it's big. Set him up. Um, I'm not big on setting him up there. I always Power Whip there. I think that it's clear that he's gonna fish, even his initial intent. Now he definitely lives a power whip. He's got two more chances to burn. He's able to live the second after the first burn. He switches out into Tangrel. Okay. I mean... Uh, I think it's fine to slip the Feral Thorn, but you have no real way to init immediately threaten it, which is what bothers me. The knockoff is good, don't get me wrong, but... I'd rather have it burn, in all honesty. I guess you're just going to chip away at it, but... At what cost, man? He's getting all of his layers. You're getting back up the fall. His Zapdos is gone. Like, I just don't know if this is um the right play in the long term, but maybe Zoro sees something that I don't. And I think that Ojama is perfectly content with letting this happen. But... Like, what did Zoro gain there? He gained 38% damage on a Pokemon with Leech Seed. Okay, let's say 50% damage on Pokemon with Leech Seed. Just, like, hypothetically, he rocks up. Why are you subbing? Look, this is going to hit. Okay, and now you're going to spin. But then you can't threaten it. So maybe you scald for the burn. But, like, what's the point? You can't threaten it. So unless it's sub tentacle. Um, if it's sub tentacle, which I don't think it is, I'm, like, pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I mean, like. <sighs> okay, so you can go through this sequence again. Doing 13 to 14, uh, 11 to 13 percent of the time. But, like, what's this going to do? I mean, all right, he's going to get a layer here. 
Um, doesn't even need rocks now. I mean, spikes are better. Yeah. Yep. Um, if he's lucky, he gets crit here or a long sleep. He keeps only up to one, but what's the point? Yeah, okay, so he gets lucky. Um, I think you keep the Pharaoh here. Yeah. Did he Giga? Did he Giga? Nope. That's that's pretty pathetic play. I'd have a Giga there. I think he always saves the Pharaoh on there. Um, but to each their own. I, I mean, I know it lives, but like, I guess you look kind of bad. Let another layer up. Yeah, I, I can understand that. I just feel like Giga is an instinct based play that kind of wins games when you're using these bulky teams against offense. You're going to get an edge. No, someone's asking the chat. Giga, not too good. All right, that's a toxin for us. Sorry, now we're going to be burning fishing on the other side, and he's going to get it. Ojama's getting a bit of counter luck, but there goes Zoro back with the reluck. I mean, yeah, I think Zoro's clearly been luckier this game. I mean, you can't really repeat that, though. I think if he sets up slight no, he's, yeah, he's going to protect just fine. That's a 6% more um, damage to the Pharaoh. Yeah, so Ojama's executing pretty well. I think that the Starmie kind of just wins. I mean, Jirashi is at full, but I guess it'd be better if he had two layers of spikes. But I think we're going to need um, a Hydro Miss of some sort. It's called, I um, mean, yeah, just power up, right? Yep, kills. All right, so now the play here is to go Keldia. Um, I think that's Sleep Powder. Um, that, that's Hypnosis, rather. Hypnosis foddering a Palatot was a big mistake that Zerodok made in this game, if you want me to be honest. I think that letting the Jirachi take it. Unless this Jirachi is some... Um, Profound genius set that happens to win. I mean, with Oj with Jirachi, did I say Ojama? I don't know, but the Jirachi, not Ojama. <laughs> the Jirachi of Zoro Dark, rather. Um, I mean, has to have a real good set if he wants to win this game. So, where does this pass from? I just don't think it does, given the team um team structure. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, wait, what set of rocks is there? Is it? It has to be stealth rocks on um Jirachi then, meaning stealth rock, thunder or body slam, wish, iron head or U turn, probably. Hmm. Um, I am just kind of. All right, so he's going to Sacred Sword. So now you get an opening to go to your Tangrowth. But, like, do you want to take that even? Like, what's this keeping us alive do for you? What is the role of um, Spex Hydro on the um, Tangrowth? I suppose that's a big factor. I mean, you can't just lose to the Sun. That's the thing. Um, just looking at things in perspective. I really think that this guy flies over and just clean this game. That crit is big because now there's zero prospect. I mean, he's gonna get a giga off here, but like the Pharaoh is just gonna come in, no double. Yeah, I mean, now the Starmie comes in. Um, I mean, do you click Hydro? If you have Surf, you click Surf because Surf kills. I think if you're um Zoro Dark here, you probably just fodder off the um Pharaoh. What happened to Pharaoh? Yep, there goes Pharaoh. Okay. So now if Jirachi lives, comes in, I click Thunder. Or Jirachi comes in and doubles out to Tangrowth, but then you take the spikes damage. You're already at full. Okay, so two spikes probably means he could live a Spex Hydro. It can't live a Spex Hydro up to three spikes, I'd have to imagine. Like three individual spikes, which is not after the three spikes being up. Um, the issue is that if you predict wrong, you lose. Um, if you've got an icy wind here somehow, then it's always the move to click. I'm telling you that right now. But um, I don't think he does. Um, I think he's probably got Thunder as his um, most likely move to hit this Starmie, if anything. And I don't think Ojama's staying in. Oh my, he did it. Wow, great play by Ojama. Ojama absolutely deserves to win this game. That was a great play. Um, Good prediction by Ojama's part. I think he probably could have won regardless. Um, ooh. No, but the Garchomp wins regardless. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, Ojama played this well. Um, I think his team was pretty bad. No um, flying resists. I mean, opposing Keldeo is a complete nightmare. But, I mean, I guess those sort of are normal symptoms for um, a rain team. So, I mean, against Zoro Dark, who never uses rain offense, I think it's actually probably a pretty good matchup choice. I wouldn't use it like an SPL tournament or like something, you know. 
something that you've got more in line. But as an individual using this team, I can respect that. And I think Zoro Dark Team has gotten that passive kind of reign where you almost kind of want to avoid bringing it into modern day. And I also think that he played it. Wait, this isn't Scarf Politoed. So then, how is his fastest Pokemon a non Scarf? Zapdos? I mean, I just don't get that yet. So Zoro's team is pretty, um, pretty odd as well. Um, I yeah, I don't really. I think Ojama's team is actually better than Zoro's. Um, I mean, it had massive defensive um, question marks, but Zoro's had no speed control, which is absolutely needed to make up for said, you know sicky situation i just i can't i can't get behind that so that was an odd um an odd start to the series um but i think that both players played well i think zora dark misplayed by letting the Paito take to sleep well actually no he didn't because it wasn't scarf so it didn't matter um zora dark played pretty well he made a nice break with api there but ojama at the end definitely played better and throughout the game didn't miss play i think he was more on top of things where zora dark might have had a passive turn or two he could made up on so um definitely a deserving win for ojama there game one um and it gives them the lead on the series 1-0. to um, We're going to wait for the next game to start, and then we're going to get to that. I'll just keep it here. Um, so, yeah, we've got Oros and SM left. I'm pretty excited for the SM game. Hopefully they play that next. Although Zoradark is in no way, shape, or form um, a good SM player. I played him in a test earlier, and he just didn't look that great. I mean, I just kind of bodied him with um, one Pokemon, and then he just couldn't really come back for that late game against the rest of the team. But um, maybe he's going to play this a bit better. I think that he's, he's a pretty good performer. I mean, obviously he is a positive SPL, some is about multiple, I think, now, and he did well in Snake. He's had a couple good World Cups, so yeah, I mean, Zoradark's been a great player this entire year, pretty much, and Ojama, obviously, is one of the greats all time, so no surprise that he's here. Now we're going to see um, Gen 7. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, well, the team looks awful. It isn't, like, awful, awful. It just, like, doesn't give me the great aesthetic, you know? I don't like Victini and Deancey next to each other. It's kind of gross, but um, no, I mean, it doesn't look like an awful team, although I don't think Victini's good at all, but I mean... He's got he's got what he needs there to win this game, I believe. Um, but I do think that Zoro Dark does as well. I mean, the Fable set is gonna determine a lot, probably. But um, it's definitely okay. I mean, I played him, so I know I know a couple sets off the top of my head. Um, it's probably gonna be. I mean, if we're looking at this objectively, I'd say it's either Scarf Cartana or Scarf Lando. But I know it's Swords and some Swords and Z Flight Cartana. Anyway, it's Gastro Lead. No, no. Barrow, Thorn, Scald, No Burn, switched out from Lando. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be Stealth Rock, Barrow, Thorn. I mean, Stealth Rock. Yeah, Stealth Rock, Barrow, Thorn from Ojama. It might be Stealth Rock, Lando, T. Yeah, which makes him Scarf, Victini, or Scarf, Greninja, which is interesting. Um, could be Stealth Rock, Key Trans from Zoradark. A double Scald there. Nice play. Ojama making a bit over prediction. A bit of an over prediction. I think the Zoradark might have been on that. Just because Barrow into Cartana didn't seem too great. Also after the burn, but that was interesting. Interesting read. I, I like Zori Dark's um, sort of situational read game. I think that's why I'm a big fan of him, to be honest. Um, on top of me knowing him forever. He's going to go back to Pharaoh. Is he going to take advantage of by going to Cartana? Wow. Okay. So Zori Dark's very much on top of the ball right now. Um, so looks like Zori Dark kind of zoned in after that BY loss. Kind of disappointing loss for not going to lie. But I think his favorite in Aura. So if he manages to pull this one out, then it's great. Okay. So he's going to defug here. I'd be very. Um, actually, I'm just Sword Stance here for Zora. Actually, I mean, with Zapdos in the back, it's kind of a cock block, which is why I probably would favor Ojama slightly in this match, depending on the Victini set. If it's Z stored power, if that's able to two KO, um, actually, no, it's Megalodios. And yet, like, yeah, I think the Zoradark's probably got the favor in this matchup, but like, these teams, like, have awkward checks to, like, each other's win conditions that make it so that really, if you are able to, you know, play your cards right at the right time, then you're in good shape. And uh, that's actually a good play to get chip on this. Um, from Zora Dark, because I mean, the best thing that this could do is probably like a 45% with Earthquake or Hidden Power Ice. There's no way to send Power Fire in this team. And probably Zapdos can play in a defog. If he doesn't defog, that's kind of bad. Uh, yeah, that's garbage. I, I'd always defog there. I think the Zapdos look pretty likely, but Dan's going to get free Gastro. Let's see if Ojama takes advantage of it. And he does by going Farathorn. Very nice. Um, I expect us to see another double here on both sides. Um, I think that this is not just going to want to have the Cartana come in on the Pharaoh. And I think that Zora's going to try to get the Cartana in, but maybe he'll, um, Toxic. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, yeah, I could see that play. <laughs> That's fine. I, I just whiffed on both sides, but, um, Zora Dark whiffed on the one side he needed to hit. Um, I almost doubled Toxic here. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's the Kingpin. He's, he's out playing already. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I, I, but he goes Abdos. Victini. Um, 
I mean, I guess that works too. But Zoro Dark just got absolutely played. So I said a pretty significant disadvantage, I'd say, with the spikes off. I mean, hazards do kind of run the world. Um, at this point, if I'm Zoro, I always just go to Megalodios. I. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Insane madman. <laughs> Well, this guy Piccini, that turn just gave me a heart attack. I'm, I'm rooting for Zoro Dark. I'm so surprised. I mean, I don't like Okama as a person, but I mean, I do respect him as a player very much. So, Big Fog, very nice. Okay, so that's that's a nice play. We're seeing we're seeing both these guys, you know, really swinging for defenses here. Are we gonna see a Pharaoh on an attack? Um, now we're probably gonna see. Did you just go for the Z here? I think you. Ooh, what, what's gonna happen? Big fog. Eh. What health is this? Pharaoh's at 82. I don't like that. Wow. Okay. Good play by um. Good play by Zoro Dark to get back into it. I'm not sure why you don't just click the electric move there if we can stay in. I'm not sure, like fish for the burn. Uh, Magmas 2. I'm gonna do a nice pump over half damage to the Greninja. Um, if I'm Zoro Dark, I stay in here. There's no way in hell he clicks the water move. But the risk risk reward on that's awful. Actually, wait. He's kind of trapped in here. I don't know. Maybe he does keep the water. I think he'll live the Hydra, though. Uh, depending on the spread, because that should have done more if he's offensive. I guess he's just going to take the safe play. Yeah, I mean, I just, it's a gut play. I mean, like, it's hard to make that play. I totally respect that. Um, recover. Issue is that Cartana is not outlasting Pharaoh. I think you got to start going um, Tran in the in this sequence here. Because Tran makes progress in this game. And you need the Gastro healthy, and you can't keep letting the Cartana come in. I mean, look. Um, mm. you see, the issue is that Cortana can only take another spike or two. So, so this is all about positioning at this point, which is, um, I'd say whoever is the hotter hand in terms of, you know, reading the opponent is a pretty big advantage. But I'd also say that this is kind of the best kind of Pokemon game. Wow, I just said kind of three times last time. I'm like a 12 year old girl. But, um, I, I do enjoy, you know, just. Really, the better player is, is in a position to win this game. And right now, it's probably Ojama. Ooh, but this could be a big turn if we get a Toxic. Okay, um, I guess Magma Storm might not have killed. Yeah. You know, Magma Storm um, probably wouldn't have killed. Actually, it might have been a roll. Um, Magma Storm here. Yep. Okay, so that's interesting. I guess he can afford to do that given um, the fact that he can get Mega Deancey in. And the fact that he didn't really need that now that Kartan is weakened. But I do kind of wonder if he might have liked that. Because now his only ground immune is Lando T at 46. That's not bad. Um, Calm mind. Oh, this could blow the game open. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this Gastros that's needed alive desperately. Uh, he's going to die here, it looks like. Um, yeah, I can't see him switching out to anything here. I mean... It's a good set by Ojama on this team. Um, I actually like Ojama's team besides the Scarf Bikini because that's a kitty set. But I guess it does fit. Um, yeah. I was trying to think. I mean, the only thing that really bothers Ojama's team is like Kelio. Besides that, it's pretty solid. Um, so our Dark's team pretty decent too. I, I like these teams better than the Black White teams. That much is for sure. But, um. <sighs> Zoro is taking his time now. Oh, boy. Um, it looks like that the Ante is going to get a kill here. And the Scarfer is going to come out. <sighs> Scarfer likely being Landers T at this point. It has to be. It's probably Scarf Rocks Land up to you, if I'm being honest. I don't think that Tran is Rocks. I think it might have clicked it or had more initiatives get in the game to try and force Defog on the other side or get the Ante to Mega Evolve, you know? Reveal more information. So. Hmm. I think that Moonblast and Fodder is the play. It's pretty straightforward. Same as last turn, more or less. Um, the only thing I could see Zoradark doing differently would be going to Heatran on the Moonblast and then going to Lando T on the Earth Power or Diamond Storm. However, if um, Earth Power plus one happens to kill here, then he goes for it. Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you don't go to Heatran. That, that was fine, too. Yeah. As I was saying, that nice time in there, Ojama. Um, but anyway, um, I always U-turn here. Yeah, U-turn is definitely the play here. He's not going to keep this in. But I think Zoro Dark is probably going to respect it enough to Earthquake. I mean, it's easy to say, oh, I'd make X ballsy play to give me momentum when I'm on the outside looking in. But on the inside looking out, it's a hard-ass trigger to pull. 
I mean, you don't really need Dancy, so. Ooh. CDK just muted Praj in the chat for saying he's used to turn up my life. Well, I guess Praj agrees with me. Um, but unfortunately, that's um, that's chat ghosting, which is not good. But um, yeah. Ooh, and he gets to crit. Wow. Um, I mean, whatever works, right? <laughs> yeah, oh wow. Zoro Dark just says that's lame, sorry. But I'm kinda laughing here because I'm I'm in the same mindset as Zoro. Um I think he clicked Moonblast there. But if he clicked Earth Power there, then that would have been huge. Um, personally, I just U-turn the train and then go back to Lando T. But against someone like Ojama, that's a really hard trigger to pull because he's not afraid to, you know, click the move into the Pokemon that's not in front of him like fucking half the players. I mean, Ojama's an amazing, amazing predictor in this game. I mean, predictor's like a hard word to label. Like, he, he pulls triggers, you know? Like, that, that's something you got to aspire to do if you want to win at a high level consistently. Because you're not just going to get it through, you know, going through the plays every game, going through the motions, you know? But, um, yeah, pretty pretty important critical hit for Zora Dark there, um, I'd say. But if this Clefable is Kamai, he could just win here. Yeah, honestly, I think that Zora Dark won the game regardless of Kamai and Fable, but it's not. So, Rock's trade, is that really worth it? Apparently. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so yeah, what stops this? It's got to be like Gunk Ninja. Or Trick Teeny. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so that's going to do 32. That's big. I go to Kartana here. He create. Ooh, wow. Soft boiled. Okay, good play there by Zora Dark. Um, probably not Trick. Um, I, I, go, uh, I go Lottie here. Because Lottie after Mega 100% eats a Dark Pulse from your Ninja, which is the likely switch. But, um, wait and see, I think that he's going to go Greninja. If Zora Dark Moonblasts into Greninja, I'm going to not, not going to lie. I'm just going to be, like, all over the place. Um, <laughs> but this is a hard play to make. I think that Tran is the easy play. Lottie is the mid-ground play. And, um, um, staying in is the ballsy play. Um. I think that Ojama doubles to Greninja 100%. It's just a player Ojama is. Ballsy motherfucker. Makes the right plays pretty often. And I don't see that he's going to pick them to stay in. Um, yeah, I think Ojama just instinctually kicked click Greninja. V create again into Heatran would be, um, for lack of a better word, cataclysmic. <laughs> um, that would be the end of Ojama in SM, leaving him to a game three Oras, which doesn't look too promising for him. Not as Oras. Just, just click it. Click it. <laughs> click Moonblast, man. Did he do it? Oh, boy. Soft boil again. All right, that's that's the middle ground, I guess. I mean, that's like the middle ground that you don't want to do it over and over again. Because, like, now it literally might be a roll. Oh, Clory might play Ray after this. If Ray's not going to. Are you kidding me? No way Ray plays on a Saturday. Yo, Ray Scarface, one play after this. Ray said hi. Um... I'll I'll give you two and one. I said I couldn't. Oh, he says we are scheduled for tomorrow, aren't we? Oh boy. Yeah, Ray's being Ray. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, sticking the schedule time is fine, but that's unfortunate, you know. Um. Anyway, boy, my roommate's gonna come and I might have to end this after the black white game. But um, yeah. Zoro's taking his dear sweet time. Um, hmm. <laughs> Corey's like, why not play now? And Ray's like, I don't want to play now. Probably. I mean, yeah, I think Zoro just goes to the fucking... I, I, I'd really be surprised if Ojama doesn't switch on this turn to Greninja. I think Zoro just clicks the Heatran at this point. <laughs> and he did it. Oh, no. v create. wow. I'm surprised Ojama didn't switch. Um, because now Magma Storm 100% gets a kill. Um, probably on the Pharaoh. Yeah, probably on the Pharaoh's line. But it could be on a Lando T. There's no way he goes to Greninja, though. Alright, so Zora Dark's timer is down to 150. So he's thinking this through. Ojama's pretty much 300. I think that Zoro's got a pretty big advantage at this point. Magma Storm. Oh, yeah, V create. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he creates a 4 PP Magma Storm, he's got 2 PP. Um, you do not Earth Power here no matter what. Um, no, I, I would not. I, I just clicked Magma Storm this turn. Um, you can't let him get away with this without getting a kill. So hopefully you hit. I mean, this is a free lefties for you too. So you don't want to like get rid of it now. You want to get rid of whatever you switch to. I think Ojama is just going to be create again. If I'm being honest. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, I think Ojama is just going to fight with this. I think that's the play that he's um resigned to doing so. Zoro has no reason to wear the switch. If Zoro switches, that would be a massive misfire. But um. Ojama's not thinking it through. I think Zoro came to his senses. You know, Magma Storm's reply. As for um, Ojama, he's got a couple of options. I mean, okay, Pharaoh, good father, hits, yup, that dies twice over. And now it's a 5 3 advantage for Zoro. Greninja's gonna come in. Oh, it's only at 23%. Um, if I am Zoro, I think Cartana fodder is to play. What does Cartana do for you, bud? Nothing. It does, um, excuse me, it does let him, um, Mega, or rather, Ash evolve, but, um, at the same time, like, it's okay, it's inevitable. Yup, Cartana's the fodder, unfortunately, living 11%. Surf, interesting. Um, what's gonna fuck with Zoro, Dark, if this isn't Specs, but rather, it's Z, but I think there was a hit before he could calculate it, I think it did, like, 34 to Gastro, so therefore, I think it has to be Specs. So, Latias, either way, lives anything besides a Black Hole Eclipse, which I don't think it is. Um, the thing is, he's got no other disease, so, like, that's what, like, makes me scared, kinda. But, um, yeah, I think if you're Latias, you just attack what's in front of you. I think that Ojama's team's whittled enough to the point where he's in a good spot. Huh? Did he kill the Victini this turn? Ice Beam, no. It's gonna come up short. Bye, 60%. Um, now I think that you just... Alright, what are they even going off about? This game's over. Like, really, I think you just um, go heat train here. No other use for it. Worst case scenario, he just U turns into your bolt strike. Roost. That works too. Um, now I just go Lando T here and lock into HP Ice, if I'm being honest. I mean, I guess he sees otherwise. But I just personally think that going Lando T there would be better. You just, um, you want to live Ash Greninja, but um, actually, he might still live it. Heat train fodder. Dark Pulse, Clefable, no, actually Lando T, yeah, now you're in Power Ice. So many kills. You turn, that's fine too. Because now you go to your own um, Latias to just get another kill with Ice Beam, yep. I mean, these are always to win. This game pretty much is over. I think that Zoro did get a lucky here again, but once again, oh yeah, that died to South Rock, yeah, okay, good, good game. So now it's 1-1 one, one going to game 3. This has been a pretty well played set. I think Zoro only played once twice Black White. I think Ojama probably made a, maybe a questionable read or two. And more, uh, more surprise based team choice than Scarf Victini, but I think the rest of Ojama seems pretty solid. I like Kamai Diancy, nice touch. That kind of a balanced feel to it. I did like that team. Um, Joy Dark team a bit bulkier than my personal liking. Kind of get that like, Gastro Megalati feel. But um, it did work. Solid team. So it was a good SM game from one player who's not really known for his SM at all on Zoro Dark and one player who's kind of newer to SM in Ojama. But yeah, two good players, so no surprises there. We're going to just move into game three now. Um, yeah, oh, my DPPU team is there if you want to see it. I'm just going to go back to the game until the next team comes up. But I'm, I'm pretty excited for game three, not going to lie. Um, you've got two French slash Belgian players. I mean, probably played each other in tournaments before. Nothing too big, though. But um, two guys who are known a lot for black white, Ojama, then known also for ADD and DPP, whereas um, Zora Dark's known somewhat slightly for Ubers, played it in SPL once, and kind of been in part of the community. And a little cut mostly. Oh, and. Interesting team choices here. Um, we're going to see a Kuhn, which is kind of, you know, one of the trademark Pokemon of Oras, I suppose, nowadays. Just kind of a menace that no one likes, but it's always there. And um, a Kuhn Tar team with another Zapdos. Kind of looking similar to that? No, nah, not really. Looking similar. Um, never mind that. Um, we're going to see also a Pursuit user from Zoradark and Weavile, but Manaphy is going to be the word type of choice. You kind of see some structural um, structural parallels here. You've got, um, let's see, Weavile, Tyranitar. You've got Manaphy, Suicune. Two water type one conditions. You've got um Defogger in terms of well, okay, utility Pokemon like Mew, utility Pokemon like Zap. So was, um you're gonna see two Mega Scissors, and then you're also gonna see two Latias. So yeah, I mean it's pretty similar teams. I think the advantage slightly goes to the Red Arc. 
But that also depends on how he deals in the long term with the Coon, which is likely going to be rest given that pivot. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be rest. So I think that actually might favor Ojama a bit more now, um, unless it's also like a rain dance, pale glow, energy ball. Manaphy, I don't think that's likely. All right, that was that weird roost there. Um, but I guess it works out. Oh, actually, no, he, I forgot he took the U-turn chip. Never mind, it's fine. Um, excuse me. The issue here for Zoro is that this is awkward as shit. Okay, he's got Volt Switch. That makes it a bit easier. 23, Latios, Combined. Okay. Oh, boy. This is hard. Because, like, he's got a tire in the back. Draco, 42. That does not enough. Gold again. What an odd play to... Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I mean, I get he predicted a double. Valid play. I just... Uh, I don't know if you risk that this early in the game. But clearly Ojama saw something we didn't. And that's fine. Um, valid play, nevertheless. Um, the thing is, for Zoro here, like... I think you're almost obligated to kill this. But at the same time, he's obligated. I think that Zoro's obligated to kill this, and Ojama's obligated to kill Tar. And so we're going to see on a miss, say, uh, yeah, that doesn't matter for shit. But the thing is that what can Kun rest up on now? Which is going to be killed, correct? Yes. But now, um, what can Kun rest up on? Because two Pokemon with priority, a Mew can kill it. I mean,. Yeah, I think the coin's pretty much useless. So this is essentially 5 5, which is we're all getting the momentum. Um, I, I think you just set up rocks here if you have them. It's hard to read these teams, but I'm pretty sure this is Defog Zapdos, and I'm pretty sure neither of these lane all have HP ice. But U turn, okay. Um, I'm not sure what this set is. Could be Scarf very easily, just given that it was Life Orb Lottie. There's no other Scarf on this team. Could be Scarf Rocks. Could be Stealth Rock, Mew, Defog, Scizor. Um, looking at win conditions for Zoro, it's actually kind of weird. Because um, if that's Heat Wave Zapdos, then I don't really see much of a path to victory for Zoro Dark. But, I mean, I guess trapping the Lottie with the Weavile, which... Ice Beam here, I guess? I think you just five is Kuhn here, if I'm being honest. I really don't think you need to hold on to Kuhn at all. So I guess Ice Beam is to play here. Yeah, I think the Ice Beam. Um, for John was my, Michael Scizor, but that's kind of ballsy. Could still go Lottie. Yeah. Um. Scarf Land is pretty nice here for Ojama. I mean, like, not like in terms of like threatening the entire team, but in terms of like utility and revenge killing purposes. Kind of why I was worried that um Zoro didn't have a Scarf or any black white ice beam here. No Surf. That's a pretty pathetic Surf. I mean, I always ice beam there. But if, if he has it, I mean, maybe not. I think that's probably more an offensive end of damage. I mean, Surf not falls. Yeah, that's definitely offensive. Um, pretty, pretty passive play there by Zoro Dark. Um, this is a Scarf. No, 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 no. This is Vexor Life Orb. Scizor is the up. Uh, whoa. Wait, but what? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Why would you go Lando T there? I, I don't understand why you go Lando T there. Uh, that, that's. Yeah, that's the first play from Zoro that I like, truly just don't get. I mean, I think I'd classify that as a misplay. <laughs> what? Is he going to Hidden Power Fire? Like, I mean, I don't think Hidden Power... Yeah, I just... No. I think Scissor's always by there. Okay, so he sets up rocks into the... I, yeah, I don't understand this. I guess... Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry. Okay, so what he wants to do is fodder to the Lando T, Draco Meteor, and then trap it with the Weavile. I, however, being the inferior species of human being... The inferior, the inferior being, what the fuck am I saying? Did not detect the long term and just thought about the play in front of me. But no, that, that's good. It's valid. Um, if I'm here, and I just uh, think Yodama is probably just going to be kind of weird on those. Yeah. Um, I think at this point, the game 
favors Ojama. Like 60-40, 65-35, but it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, I mean, I take it back. I mean, this has been a pretty well-played series, if I'm being honest. Um, boy. U-turn. Okay, just switch, so maybe not U-turn. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm always wrong about everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good play by um, both, I guess. And it worked out for Zoro probably a bit more. He got wisp. Goon here, fodder, no way up. He's just going to wisp. Take the free-ass left. He's up to 87. And the Latios is in here now. We might see Lando T again. Which is a valid play that I simply discounted. This is actually a late game that I also like. Because it's not necessarily about positioning as much as just having what you need alive. And um, kind of going blow for blow here. Mew, wow, it lives. Is it soft boiled? Roost, wow. Okay, good play. Um, nice play by Zora Dark here. I think he um I think he wisp here. No, 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 you roost here. What am I saying? Yeah, roost here, and this kind of just wins. I mean, like Zapdos is a bitch and a half, but like getting an Oras burn off on Zapdos, then eventually you vault into it. I mean, ooh, miss, that could be bad. Discharge paralysis? Nope. Okay, that's not too bad. Pretty whatever turn. But paralysis could be very bad. Um, yeah, because Tar. So he's going to Fisherman for it, um, which is totally a respectable line of play. And I think that Zoro's going to let him get it because he's going to get slow bolt switch. But he's not getting it yet. Um, the question is if at any point you dare go to Weavile on the discharge. Lando T. Is he H guys? Nope. Okay, good play by Zoro. Um, Okay, what's going to happen here? I mean, this is the rocker. Pokey Scarf Rocks. We're going to see here. Edge miss. Okay. Advantage Ojama at that time. Um, Edge would have done maybe 20-25%. But anyway. <sighs> Tired, sorry. Um, you turn. We're going to see another Edge. I mean, what's that even hit? Uh, that could let him get trapped by Tyranitar. That could be bad. But Edge is just going to do 22 percent to see where it's hitting. Um, I, um, I don't know how to calculate the right time, but if it's bulky enough, I mean, this is almost over the top. It could be a U-turn. This could be bad. Roost, fine. But is he just power fire? I don't know if this is worth the pivot. Um, Yeah, I don't think that's worth the pivot. Almost his HP fire. So, I mean, maybe we'll see HP fire here. But, like, it's not Squall. It's, like, it doesn't even threaten this out, really. Yeah, so could he be bluffing the HP fire? I'm sure Ojama remembers that it's not Squall, but rather it's Surf. Um, if I'm Ojama here, I just U turn. And if I'm Zora Dark and I have HP Fire, I have HP Fire. And if I'm not HP Fire, then I don't make that switch. I'd rather just um go out to my own scissor, probably. Yeah. Interesting maneuver, nevertheless. Um, looking at this team, HP Fire does make some sense. I will give him that. Um, but I don't know if Ojama knows that HP Fire Manfred really is a thing. Um, does he? I mean, I guess we'll find out in a minute how much these Oras Masterminds really do now. Zora Dark isn't actually a pretty good Oras player. I've got a lot of respect in this tier. Not quite as good as this black white game, in my opinion, but it's still up there. Whereas Ojama just never really was an Oras player during Oras. And there it is. And it crits. Wow. Big turn. Big turn. Yup. And Ojama is totally 100% rightfully upset at that um that sucks um don't turn to chat saying wow every turn which is kind of a that's my course culture thing to say i mean it's not been every turn obviously but it's, i mean zora dark has definitely gotten lucky this year that's unfortunate for drama now um i don't think the draco miss was really that big a deal i mean like okay it would have changed the game a lot but like he gets the trap if this hp fire just kind of win in the long term that plus like scissor maybe Scissor Mew. So yeah, um, I think the Draco miss actually might have kept Ojama in the game, but I'm not ready to totally assert that out myself, not being an Oras main. I mean, look, I'm here mostly to give my thoughts on um, Gen 5 and 7, so I'm not going to say that 100% confidence, especially since I'm biased towards Zoro and I'm not trying to catch flack here. But 
I don't think that was totally one-sided hacks in favor of um, Zoro, but that turn, however, that was big. Getting a private message. Um, I guess I'll check this on, on the... I'm not playing a custom game right now. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm riding a cord. Fuck you. It's... Yeah, he's got a of pussy on the ride. Fuck shit. But, um, yeah. So, um, it looks like these Zoro Dark Mana things can be planned out by Radios. Lando team might very well be to play. Okay, fighters, that's fine too, I guess. Um, Weavile just clicks pursuit here. Okay. But but um then Tyranitar can pursue this, maybe? I don't know the damage then. I'm sorry. Um, I think that pursuit, let's just look one turn ahead right now because I'm fucking stupid. Um, yeah, it's just no Zoradarks can click pursuit and then Tyranitar probably switch. Or maybe Stanley. Um. Pursuit, stay in, you're fine. Okay, what's the kill? Alright, so now... Yeah, I think he just goes tired and he just, um... Just clicks Pursuit on his own, right? And Zora Dark looks like a standard wait. Oh, shit, this is my class of Weavile, I forgot. He's gonna Ice Whip back here, and if Otama pursues the kill, then he does. <laughs> I think Otama might, um, might go for the kill here, yeah. I think he might go for the kill here. But I don't... Maybe he's expecting banned. Um... This is a big turn now, actually. This is a really big turn. This could be huge for Zora Dark if he clicks Pursuit and it does like 30%, 25% to him. And Icicle Crash probably took kills this. And then maybe you click Pursuit of your own to try to get this to better rocks. And Weavile just kind of wins. Um. Yeah, wow, okay. Um. This is a big move for Ojama and he might not know it. He really might not know it. There's Ice School Crash. Stone Edge. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That. That's huge. And Zora Dark is going to um, walk away. Likely um, the victor of this series. Despite, um, despite arguably getting outplayed in two of the three games. In my opinion. I'm not saying Zoro lost the game with um, that connecting. And I'm not saying that's too likely because really flinch chance plus miss chance is pretty likely. Not the majority of the time, but it's pretty likely. And I'm not saying that Zoro Dark didn't deserve to win the series, but I mean, Ojama, in my opinion, was the better player of the two. Um, and that that's coming from someone that really doesn't like Ojama much. He, he played well. You got to give that to him. And I mean, Zoro Dark prepared well, too. Um, Handled it pretty well, but I think that Ojama is a better player here, and that's uh, unfortunate for um, one of the series I was really looking forward to between one of my favorite players in Zoro Dark and obviously one of the superstars of the community in Ojama. So, yeah, um, just gonna wait for this um, to run out unless my roommate comes in and you might hear this abruptly ending. But since we've gotten this far in, I wouldn't like scrap it totally, I just kind of like let it go and leave an annotation at the end. I don't know, it's worse. Zoro hacks me every turn. Or Smog's first chat being as close as usual is what Ojama says. <laughs> but I couldn't agree more. I mean, there have been just so many people being stupid. Old Heat Wade Zap is definitely going to lose to Scissor for sure. Ooh, 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 um, Well, wait, who said it was losing to Scissor? I mean, oh, ABR said it. Yeah, ABR just got fucked. Um, well, wait, no, it's at 54% and burnt. So if it gets the Swords Dance off... Yeah, I, I think that Zoro Dark kind of just won anyway. Yeah, I mean, how does Zoro Dark lose that? All right, so we're going to see the um, Mew now on the Zapdos after the Pivot by Ojama. Nice play. Bolt Switch is not going to kill it. However, the easy play here is Weavile. And the Zapdos play is just going to be boosting, otherwise he dies. Um, and now you just click knockoff, right? Yeah, I mean. 
I think that now the game's over. Yeah, the game's over. Because uh, there's no way Lando T lives in minus one eye shard. And, um, that goes as well. Yeah, I think that Zoro Dark probably won this regardless of that end of the game hacks. But the hacks before could have very well mattered. I just think Ojama had a shitty matchup this game. Like, the teams are the same archetype, but, like, Zoro's kind of was a faster pace, and uh, the volt switch on Mew was pretty damn big, and the fact that he kind of just had everything he needed, whereas he also had the offensive presence as necessary to kind of just do enough to Ojama where he pushed him, you know, over the line. Um, yeah, so, Zoro Dark prepped well. I guess that's the takeaway from that. Um, and I think that both teams are pretty solid. I don't know where else to well again, but... Yeah, um, no real complaints with this besides the fact that Zoradar clearly did get luckier, but I think he probably could have won regardless. But I still think that, um, I still think Ojama made better, um, took better risks to win the series, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's the best way to phrase it. It's hard because, like, risks and predictions and making the right play, it's all, um, they're not really fact, it's all opinion. You gotta respect that about Pokemon, because everyone has different perspectives sometimes, you know? <laughs> and it looks like, um... Looks like Ojama's really taking his time. But I think this game's over, so he just clicks knockoff, because Black Glasses knockoff does the trick. Yeah, so looks like that's going to be a good game. And just kind of waiting for a jump. He's now down to 120. Totally fine. Take your time here. See if there's any last way out. You got to respect that. I mean, I know I certainly do. But yeah, there is not. And this is going to end 4-0 in favor of Zora Dark. The series is going to end 2-1 in the favor of Zora Dark. And um, that'll be that. Um, We could switch out here. Just, you know, get Intimidate off. You know. Lives another stealth box. There's no more sand in the field. Even then, he lives. But what? Oh, right. It might. It's no shard. Duh. It's it's taunt. That's why. But either way, um, either way, it was over. That is for sure. And the scissor is just gonna set up and win. And um, I mean, unless Zapdos was legitimately healthy, he wasn't gonna stop him. Um, probably even live the heat wave. Maybe not. But um, definitely from full. If, because I recall this has some special defensive estimates from attack Zoro can. If I'm ready to deny that if he wants to, but um, anyway, um, looks like, um, yeah, Zoradark's gonna come out ahead and probably just gonna sword stance here, maybe just bullet punch twice. Yeah, that's just 39. Edge missed to add insult to injury, but at this point, again, it is futile. Um, yeah, so this was, um, an enjoyable series. Zoro drops a sorry about the luck, and GG with an apostrophe S and which suddenly makes me want to kill him because it's just GG without an apostrophe S. Don't pretend, just take it, lol, is what Ojama says, to which I kind of um, lose a bit of respect for him because he really could have legitimately lost this game regardless. I think he did. Um, and I think it's also somewhat courtesy. I mean, like, even I've gotten used to saying good game after a loss in most of my tournament games. Oh, there are some smaller toys where I just don't say it. But like, when it's in front of me and all hundreds of people watching, that's kind of different. I feel like I showed a courtesy. But to each their own, Ojama did play well, even if I can't agree with him as a character. Um, and Zoro does advance to the next round, which is great for him. Um, congratulations to my buddy, and well played by Ojama as well. And this is um, Finchinator. I'll probably bring this to YouTube hopefully in the next day or so, and um, later. Yeah, bye.